So this is going to be a lot of, this is not a tutorial or a how-to. This is literally me documenting my experience as best I can. The goal for me is to map out two more virtual switches. The switch zero, V switch zero you see here, this is the main LAN that it uses. So cable goes into the server, shit, and then through the virtual switch in the inner, in the in the the hypervisor it feeds that VM network in this case to any virtual machines that you want to connect a virtual network interface to but if I want to route my internet through a router for my entire network I need to do more stuff now here we go Yes, we see four, and if you've ever done programming, you already understand why things start at zero instead of at one. So when I say one, it's actually zero, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, because you start counting at zero. <laughs> so zero is accounted for. We can, and even though they're not plugged in, I can see that they're listed here, which is great. And I'm hoping that because it's an enterprise network card, because it's, you know, enterprise server class crap, that it may even perform better than what I've been doing with my non-corporate enterprise grade equipment to, not, to date. Now, let's see here. I need to create a ad network. And this was the part that confused me. Like I saw the videos and people were like showing physically hit configurations, go to networking and I would see this picture and then just hit add networking. And you get this interface. I was not like, I was trying to use this thing because this is what the newer thing is. Right. And I was never able to quite like I found the virtual switch thing and it would show me this, but I don't have the options. And then I, no matter what I would try to fucking do in this interface, I could not get it to work period. Like I could not create another virtual switch and all that stuff, I had to go and use this deprecated client. So anyways, add network. This is going to be for the virtual machine connection types. Now I want to create a LAN and a WAN that are going to be separate from the other machines. So I'm going to be using three interfaces for my network interface card on the server why it's going to make sense maybe more later but it just works better for pfsense to have its own dedicated slot for in and out or lan and wan whatever you want to however you wish to think of it so let's do How do I want to do this? I'll do the second slot as the PFSense WAN. It doesn't really matter as long as you know which ones are going to be which, but and it's like I'm just trying to think how exactly I want to do the numbering structure, if I want to make any specific sense out of it. But I guess I don't need to. Okay. So, that was easy. I only have one thing plugged in right now. The other one is connected, or plugged into two other ports on my original test server still before I go on plugging my internet and killing everything I'm going to try to create a virtual machine or rather just import it I should be able to take the already pre-configured machine right here that's still running 
and just feed it over here. And there's probably many different ways to go about it. I'm thinking I'm going to try using this just for science. Uh, it's called VMware vCenter Converter Standalone Doodad Schmad, whatever. Allows me to. I was originally using this tool to convert physical machines into a virtualized environment, more just for fun, but it also integrates with the, the not just VMware hypervisor type 2s, but also with ESXi, the type 1 hypervisor. And I should be able to go like this. Literally just go straight into... Wait a minute, that's the wrong... There we go. The dot six is my test environment one, which it should connect into. I hope. Um... Maybe not. Let's see here. By now, powered off. I have a machine that's powered on. It's not running any of these. I think this will not work. I can copy, I think, or make a conversion from physical machine or even a like a workstation type of VM to a server, but not vice versa, or between them. So I may have to do this manually. Somewhat. So let's go ahead and do that. I wonder, how can I connect to a... a second... Uh, Okay, so I just logged back into the test server. Totally forgot that if I wanted to do this, I may need to enable SSH. Okay, so that definitely appears to work. I have this tool, WinSCP, that does all my putty integration with a FTP-like interface made my life a lot easier when I was dealing with VPSs and all that fun stuff, because, well, because stuff. <laughs> now, I don't know how, to, how I would go about transferring from one to another one machine to another machine. If I can do that directly or if I need to first download to my machine to like my home to my doodad my computer and then from the computer upload so I'll probably just do that and then resume the video from there. Ultimately this is what I need right here. PF Sense. This is what contains the entire virtual virtual machine. And it's really only like two files I really need, which is this VMDK, that's the virtual hard drive, and VMX, which is kind of the configuration file for it, so to speak. And that's not even a critical element. It's really all about this, but it's really the only file that's of any size. Anyways, see you guys in a bit. Okay, I changed my mind. In order for me to be able to copy the machine over anywhere, it would have to be shut down. And I'm sure there is ways to migrate machines between servers and stuff through ESXi, or at least through this and that, schmat, whatever. We're just going to do this manually so we can get rid of that. I'll show you how I enjoy working with ESXi. As you can see, I've got a lot of machines on my own computer. 
now the integration it has with the workstation is literally what sold me. It's it's like the one thing that said, oh my god, like this would open up a few interesting doors for me that I wasn't that would I wouldn't have even been thinking about. But I'm connected to the server right here. And it gives me the option, right from my computer desktop, create a new virtual machine. And we're just going to install PF Suns like normal. And I can import my settings. <laughs> 